We're ready to go. Outside for ball one at 7.07. Now the one, two. Got him swinging down and away. Line toward left center, tailing away into the gap and down for a hit. Lampy turns, he's into second base. A stand up leadoff double for the Sun Devils. Coming into Provo. This one's grounded through the right side. That's a base hit. Mike Goff is going to send Lampy home. There will be no play. It's bobbled and right. ASU's on the board first tonight. An RBI single for Connor Davis. 1 0 ASU in the first. With that ball on the ground, Lampy had a great read off the bat. Plenty of room the other way. And Joe is thinking of scoring all the way, but Gamble bobbles the ball there. Thinking about making the play at the plate when there was never going to be a chance. Deuce is wild, the pitch. Called strike three at the knees. He goes down looking, but the Sun Devils take a 1-0 lead after an inning of play. The conference dominated by Gonzaga. A leadoff walk for Haas. Throws it away. Haas is up, thinking about three, and he'll stop there. That was a hard throw in from the second baseman, Pintar. A check swing, excuse me, grounder, stays on the infield, and heads up base running over there by Haas. Thinking like a shortstop. Watkins was trying to make the back pick to third, but it's an infield hit for Lampy. Rudder goes from first, chased it in the dirt though, and Long is retired on a strikeout. Lampy gets a stolen base. It gets away from the catcher, and Ruder won't have a play. A wild pitch scores a run. Two nothing Sun Devils. Check swing on a slider away. They're going to try the appeal. Won't even be granted. A one-out walk, which for BYU's perspective isn't the worst thing in the world. Another payoff. Line toward short off a diving glove of Watkins. Lampy's in to score. Davis stops at second. It's an RBI single for Tobias, and it's 3-0 Sun Devils. That was a professional at bat right there. Laid off a tough 2-2 pitch. Fought off a couple of good fastballs away and then gets one catching a little too much of the plate. Watkins nearly saved the day, but now Tobias has hit the ball hard twice tonight. Taking his lead. Lined into right. Coming on is Gamble. Makes the catch, and Davis is halfway to third. They'll double him off. BYU gets out of it without further damage on a base running error by Connor Davis. In the top 10 in games played as well. Deep chopper to third. Long winds up. Not in time. It's an infield hit. Great hustle from Pintar. And that is the first. That's a walk, and there are two men on, bringing the tying run to the plate in Hayden Latham. 2-0 in the air to right, playable for Murphy. Attack from second, Pintar will head to third without a contest. Second out of the inning, Gamble stays put at first. On the way, driven to deep left field. On the way back, Campos, it's off the bottom of the wall. Pintar is in, Gamble coming around third. The relay, not in time. A two-out, two-strike, two-run double. Ryan Sapiti gets BYU on the board. His second double of the season, and RBI is number five and six. For the junior, got a mistake on the inner half of the plate. And drilled it. Gamble, thanks to being in motion, might have been the difference on that. Here's the 1-1. Popped up. 
Coming in is Lampy. He'll call off his infielders. That'll end the inning. However, BYU gets a couple on the board. Payoff. Another leadoff walk for Hunter Haas. Another toss to first, and it gets away. Haas over to second. He'll stop there. It's the second time tonight BYU has thrown away a pickoff for an error. 3-0 green light into shallow right. Gamble lets it drop. However, Haas had to make sure that ball fell. He gets hung up at third base. So there are runners on the corners for ASU as Long has his first hit of the night. That's ball four. In the air to right, playable. Gamble. And that ends the inning. McKeon gets out of it and fires up his dugout on the way back. Through the right side, a base hit. And the first hit is a Sun Devil for Campos. A line shot towards second. It's snagged and a double off in time. What a play by Pintar. Pitches high, ball four. And a leadoff walk. And he throws it away. It's the third time tonight the Cougars have thrown it away. And McLean's going to dig for third. All three errors for BYU have been on failed pickoffs to first base. Enough to go on contact. Hit in the air to shallow right. That'll drop. It'll get the job done. Nate Baez, an RBI single. McLean scores. ASU leads 4-2. Their first run since the third. Jam just a bit, used his strength to get it out of the infield. That's all he had to do. Elevate and get it out of the infield. Runner goes, swing and a miss by Campos. Throw down from Reuter is in time. Quick tag applied by Watkins. Strike him out, throw him out for BYU. Murphy the other way. It kicks off of the third baseman, Pratt. It'll be an infield hit for Murphy. And he keeps things going. Runner goes, 3-2. Outside, ball four. It's the third walk drawn by Haas tonight. 2-1. High chopper, managed. And Wilk takes care of it himself. Reuter chops it toward the middle. That'll get through, and there is light for BYU. One for eight. He's 0 for two tonight. Swings at the first pitch, pulls it through the left side. And BYU has the tying run aboard, and will have the go-ahead run coming to the plate. Peary delivers. It hit him. And a tomahawk of the bat from Pratt. The one two. Lifted in the air to deep right center, right field. Murphy dives, can't get it. It's off the wall. One run in. This game's tied. BYU has Pratt coming around. They've taken the lead. It's a bases clearing triple. Watkins down to his last strike. BYU leads 5-4. to four. Just sold out. Pitch over the outer half and got barrel on it. Timed it up perfectly. Murphy. Just a few inches short. What an effort. And Pratt came all the way in to take the lead. That's ball four on four pitches. Runner goes on a delayed steal, and Baez not going to take the bait. That was the design play, trying to draw the pickle in the rundown between first and second and allow the runner from third to score. Outside, ball 
four. It'll be more. Ball four. Bases loaded, walking at six four. In the air to center. Lampy has room and ends the inning. Pops up here. And it's Watkins calling for it. One gone. Ball four. And there's life for ASU. Now Davis, they're going to keep an eye. They're checking for a balk. Yeah, they have granted a balk. Sean Rakos, the second base umpire, made the call. And the 1-0. Lined into left field. That's a base hit. Davis will score easily. The ball is bobbled and left by Latham. McLean's trying for second, and he's in the scoring position. It's a one-run game. McLean with his third double of the season. Got a mistake over the middle of the plate. Didn't try to hit it a mile. And Latham, that bobble might have cost them a chance at getting McLean at second. Grounded. Fair. No, it's a fair ball. In time, and BYU wins it. They claim the series. They win in dramatic fashion tonight at Phoenix Muni. Six to five, the final.